Look, we have a little bit of time left. What I'd like to do is go across the table and, and give our viewers a sense of, of anything you'd like them to know, unmet needs, the way we're going in the future, anything you'd like them to remember in about 30 seconds or so. And why don't we just start with you? Well, I, I mean, I think the to, to me, the major issue with this disease, especially whether it's relatively rare, is that the patients be connected with somebody that has substantial experience to manage them because the outcome can be very good. And for me, and I've lived through part of, you know, part of this, whole, this whole story, to see the advances have been amazing. And so I think that the uh, overall outcome for these patients is, is terrific. But this isn't something that you can read from a list of checkoff lists that you're going to do in your office. It really requires um, uh, uh, expertise. And I know we, my, personally, I mean, I've known Nika for a number of years now, and the experience that we gain from people that have really are experts compared to us is invaluable. So I think that, I mean, I, I really feel that, and, and, and I think that this is really critical, but the outcome, all that being said, with proper therapy is just really uh, amazing, I think, yes. now. Yeah. So definitely the stories change. I still believe that uh, we have to do some educational work in developing country, where, as it was said at the beginning, uh, patients are not properly treated, and we have to be open to the new uh, treatment. I just want to conclude that during the last two years, I was consulted by 20 couples for pregnancy, and uh, seven of them decided to have a child, affected child, because of the future. That's amazing. You're up. I think that it's a very, very exciting time. There's lots of new treatments, as we've all discussed. Um, but I, I think for the, for the community um, hematologist, oncologist, as an adult provider, I think it's very important to continue to follow individuals with thalassemia, e intermedia, even if they're not transfused, um, beyond just the hemoglobin. I think that was a key thing. You need, there's lots of complications uh, to monitor for, and I think stressing again, reaching out to centers where there is um, a provider with experience in thalassemia, uh, even if it's a once a year visit, still connecting because there are complications that increase as individuals get older, and sometimes it's too late. Um, so we really wanna catch them early on. Um, so that's what I would really stress. And you've got the last word. Oh no, I'm sure you have the last word. But Don't count on no, it. No, <laughs> I, 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 I agree with, with what the other three experts have said, and it is really a truly exciting time. And one of the things that you asked about is why do we need to think about all these newer things in, in development? Because I think we need to have as many options as possible, because even though everybody seems to lump patients with the same disease into one kind of cohort, these are individuals, these are people that have different needs in their lives, different approaches, and offering them varying options I think is really important. So it's an exciting time and it's only gonna get better. I just wanna thank all of you for taking the time out and, and joining us here today. What I get to see is kind of a waterfront view of various medical specialties. And the takeaway I've got is that this is an exciting time whether it's infectious disease and viral diseases, or it's beta thal, which I never thought I would hear a clinician say, respectable clinician say, we have a cure. I'm just pleased to be a member of a, prof of a profession that's made this kind of progress over such a brief period of time, and I'm still in practice, and there's more to come. Thank you so much for being here. Uh, on the behalf of the panel, I hope that you found this peer exchange discussion to be useful and informative. And I'm Dr. Peter Salgo, and I'll see you next time.